My name is Amir Saeed, and today we're going to be talking about the genetics of albinism, also known as OCA or oculocutaneous albinism. So what is albinism? Albinism is an inherited genetic condition that reduces the amount of melanin pigment formed in the skin, hair, and eyes. Albinism occurs in all racial and ethnic groups throughout the world in the U.S. Approximately one in every 20,000 people has some type of albinism. In other parts of the world, the occurrence can be as high as 1 in 3,000. Most children with albinism are born to parents whose hair and eye color are typical of their ethnic backgrounds. Melanin Melanin is what gives your hair, skin, and eyes their natural color. Melanin also helps up absorb heat from the sun while protecting us against its harmful UV rays. Melanin is synthesized from the amino acid tyrosine. It is informed in the cells called melanocytes. Now, as you can see in the bottom right corner, the melanocyte has melanosome move up its dendrites and into melanin grains. These melanin grains settle inside new skin cells as they rot to the top of the skin. Inheritance. Albinism is an autosomal recessive trait. This means that both parents are healthy carriers of a mutated non-working gene. Parents that both carry the mutated gene have a one in four chance that their child will be born with the condition. The pattern of inheritance may vary depending on the genetics, depending on the genetic causes of the condition. Types of albinism. There are seven distinct types of albinism. DNA tests can determine the precise type of albinism. Research of albinism genes is ongoing. To date, there are as many as seven forms of oculocutaneous albinism. OCA1, or tyrosinase, tyrosinase related albinism results from the genetic defect in an enzyme called tyrosinase. This enzyme helps the body to change the amino acid tyrosine to pigment. An amino acid is a building block of protein. There are two types there are two subtypes of OCA1. In OCA1A, the enzyme is an inactive and non and no melanin is produced, leading to white hair and very light skin. In OCA1B, the enzyme is minimally active and a small amount of melanin is produced, leading to hair with that may be darker, darkened to blonde, yellow, slash orange, or even light brown, as well as slightly more pigment in the skin. OCA2, or P gene albinism, results from the genetic defect in the P protein that helps the tyrosinase enzyme to function. People with OCA2 make a minimal amount of melanin pigment and can have hair color ranging from very light blonde to brown. OCA3 is rarely described and results from a genetic defect in the TYRP1 a protein related to tyrosinase. People with OCA3 can have substantial pigment. OCA4 results from a genetic defect in the SLC45A2 protein that helps the tyrosinase enzyme to function. People with OCA4 make a minimal amount of melanin pigment similar to people with OCA2. Now OCA5 to 7 were recognized in humans in 2012 and 2013. There are reported mutations on three additional causative genes. As gene testing becomes available and more people with these albinisms are identified, the complete range of physical manifestations will be recognized and may overlap with other known types of OCA. Currently, these types of albinism are considered to be unknown or uncommon. Related conditions. Albinism can cause a number of vision problems, such as crossed eyes, involuntary rapid eye movement, sensitivity to light, and impaired vision. The degree of impairment varies with the different types of albinism. Although people with albinism may be considered legally blind, with a corrected visual acuity of 20 to, 20 to 200 or worse, most learn to use their vision in a variety of ways and are able to perform innumerable activities such as reading, riding, a bike, or fishing. Some have sufficient vision to drive. Now, the, mac the lack of melanin in the skin also increases the risk of skin cancer. Treatments. Treatments are mainly based around additional protections against sun's rays, examples such as high SPF sunscreen to protect the skin, and sunglasses that are UV protected to protect the eyes. Low vision aids are also recommended. Tyrosine supplements are also used to treat some forms of albinism. Thank you for listening to my presentation on albinism.